So you're filming in 24p, are you? I'm not so sure if you are. To be honest, I doubt this. I highly doubt it, unless you, um, you switched your camera directly to a 24 hertz frequency. If you haven't done this, you possibly, quite possibly, actually I'm pretty sure you are filming in 23.976 frames per second, not 24. You wonder why I'm so... 23.976 is very close, but not close enough to 24. Let's, let's have a look what happens if you if you put a 23.976 piece of footage into a timeline that is 24 peak, because you thought, oh wow, I'm doing cinematic 24p. Everything seems fine. This bar is moving one pixel per frame. And now every 1001 frames, it will duplicate one frame. It's not, it's not so bad actually, it's just, you guys with your 4K, 8K, whatever, perfection. And you're telling me you don't worry if there is duplicated frames? Even your 30p, 30p. Unless you've changed something significantly in the frequency of your camera, of the chip that's inside, that's, that's behind that stupid piece of glass. Unless you've changed something significantly from the mode that it is usually in, which is for you guys in the US, NTSC, and for us it's PAL. You're 30 in the US, in the NTSC countries, is 29.97. I'll let you do the math about that. Things become a lot worse if you film with something like that. They can't do 24p they will always output 23.976 frames per second. I wouldn't bother if you would put them into a timeline that is also 23.976, but you don't. If things go tremendously wrong, you filmed 24p, real 24 frames per second. There you are. You have a 24p timeline with 24 frames per second, and then you run out with your stupid ass drones and film some 30p footage, which is not 30p. It will be 29.97. And you dump this footage right into your 24p timeline. And you're wondering why this is stuttering. There are people out there who don't notice. Professional drone pilots. And they film in 30p and put it in 24p timelines without... It's so easy. Just right click. Right click your footage in whatever program and, and change the frame rate it is reading. Just think about it before you edit your footage. It's not about the frame rate that you heard about is the best. I don't care. Go totally mad. 120. I don't really care. This is filmed in 25p and it will publish it in 25p. And if you right click on the, on, on the, on this, yeah, just right click. Go down to specs for nerds. Exactly. Here you see the frame rate. And if you're using a different frame rate like 23.976, YouTube will still tell you this is 24p. It is not. Please get this right. And please stop pretending you're filming in 24p. You're filming in 23.976p. And that's okay. But just don't get it confused with the 24p or... That's annoying. Now you can go back to mocking my cycling abilities. I don't care. Next video is going to be about projections. I hope you enjoy the new form of renting. It's a new form we try out. And go check out Camera Conspiracies. Tell them I sent you and tell them I'm sick. Perhaps subscribe to this channel first and I'll see you next time.